Fantastic. Let's jump on. Ready for shootout? What did we discuss yesterday? Ah, okay, got it. Okay, ready for shoot? Okay. Online, please put it in chat, okay? So, if we have one volume, one volume can be attached to multiple EC2 instances at the same time? Answer is no, not possible. So, if you want to have a shared storage, which is a service that you can recommend? EFS. What is the full form of EFS? Elastic File System. EFS is completely managed by AWS. EFS is limited or unlimited storage? Unlimited storage. EFS is for Linux or Windows? Linux. EFS works on which protocol? NFS version 4. So EFS is what based storage? File based storage. Um, EFS can be attached to multiple EC2 instances at the same time across availability zones? Possible. Yes. <clears throat> okay. And uh, I have a lot of data in my on-premises and I want to move or move that data to AWS quickly. Which one? Snow family. So for Snow family is a physical data transfer or not? How many devices are there in Snow Family? Three devices. How, what are those? Snow Cone, Snow Edge, Snow Mobile. Snow Cone, how many terabytes? Snow Cone, Snow Edge, Snow Mobile, terabytes. And all these devices will put the data into which service in AWS? S3. Okay. In on premises, I have storage issues, space issues all the time. And can I leverage AWS services in my on premises? Yes. Using what service is that? What service? Storage gateway. Which one? Storage gateway. Can we say storage gateway is like a hybrid um, storage? Yes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, and then, yeah. And then we discussed about this. <clears throat> if I want to create a database, which service do you suggest? RDS. Databases meaning RDS. That too, RDS supports RDBMS database or non-relational? RDMS, relational databases. So RDS, can we say RDS is like a platform as a service? What is the full form of RDS? Relational database services. RDS is a database or a database engine? Sorry, RDS is a database or a database service? Database service. And uh, in RDS, how many engines does it support? Seven engines. What are those? MySQL, Oracle, MSSQL, Postgres, MariaDB, Aurora. Super, yeah? You remember? That also you remembered, huh? Nice. Mom, PMA, I. Nice. And uh, is it possible? And by the way, this he, there we call it as EC2 instance. Here we call it as DB instance. What we call DB instance. And this DB instance, is it possible to do RDP SSH to the DB instance? Is it possible to do RDP? Can we log in? Can we log into it? No, you can just connect it or access it. And the entire platform is completely managed by AWS. And Chitty, if I want to migrate any database, so which service do you recommend? DMS. What is DMS? Database Migration Service. Which is a service in AWS which is no SQL service? DynamoDB. DynamoDB is relational or non-relational? Non-relational. Serverless or server-based? Serverless, which is mostly used by developers. And uh, which is a service which is related to data warehouse? Redshift. And then I have my application which is connecting to the database and getting and accessing frequently data all the time. Frequently. So is it good to go and uh, put a lot of load on the database? So what you can implement in between? 
cash. So what is the service? Elastic cash. What is that? Elastic cash. What is elastic cash? In memory database caching service. In memory database cache. If you want to increase the performance, can you set up elastic cache? Yes. And elastic cache supports how many engines? Two engines. What are those? Redis and memcached. Okay. I don't know how to visit it, but very good. <clears throat> okay. So. Online can you please confirm. Can you see my screen and can you hear me well? Okay. So, <clears throat> when I draw the diagram like this, what is this? Load balancer. And of course, these are AC2 instances. Yes. What is load balancer called? Uh huh. Or ELB. What do we call? Of course, that is the definition. What is load balancer called in AWS? Elastic load balancer. So this is EC2, EC2, EC2. Okay. Chitty, whenever you create a load balancer, load balancer is a server or a service. Load balancer is a service. And how do you access your load balancer? Using DNS name. Very good. Using DNS name. You know how does that DNS name look like? It look like this. Uh, load balancer has a DNS name. Okay. And it look like this. HTTP colon slash slash. My, you can give any name for the ELB. My ELB dot. It will have some random numbers will be there dot ap minus south minus one dot elb dot amazon aws dot com so guys whenever you create a load balancer the url looks like this now tell me is it good to give this url to customer no right it's not good because it's it's a nice url or nasty url I call it as nasty URL, but don't call in the interview, don't say nasty URL. But it looks good, huh? No, you cannot give this kind of URL to the customer, no. So you need, for customer, you need to have a nice name. Like? Like, what is our website? What is our domain all the time we use? Boom.com. Which one? Boom.com. Like this, you can have any website. So for, for, for customers, you cannot give this kind of URL. And what you need to do is, you need to do the makeup. So boom.com, if someone hit boom.com, it should go to the nasty URL. So this kind of mapping we need to do. Yes or no? What is this we call? We need to do mapping. So where do you do this kind of makeup? So there is a service in AWS, which we call it as Route 53. What is that? What is that? Whenever you hit boom.com, it is routing to the nasty URL or not? Basically, you are setting up the alias. Either you click boom.com, either you click nasty URL. Both are same or different? Same. But is it good to give that nasty URL to customer? No. What we do? We do the mapping in which service? Route 53. In which service? Route 53. So whenever you hit boom.com, that is getting routed to nasty URL. That is why we call it as route. And, and what is this route? If someone asks you what is route 53, you can say... Route 50 is a, it's a DNS service. What service? Host name to IP, IP to host name. What, which one? DNS only, no? So what is the, which is the DNS service in AWS? Route 53. So what is Route 50, Nana? It's a DNS service in AWS. Now, there is a number there. What is that? 53. What is 53? 53, uh, it's a, Huh. Correct. It's a port number. What's that? It's a port number. Which port number? DNS port number. 
So DNS port number is 53. And what is doing? It is routing. That's why we call it as route 53. We call it as route 53. Understood? Huh? So wherever you get nasty URLs in, uh, <coughs> you create a load balancer, you'll get the nasty URL. You create Elastic Beanstack, you will get a nasty URL. You create S3 website hosting, you will get a nasty URL. So for everything, wherever you get a nasty URL, can you give that nasty URL to customer? No. So you need to do the makeup. Where do you do the makeup? Route 53. So what is Route 53? It's a DNS service in AWS. If someone asks you, so Route 53 is a DNS, DNS service in AWS. DNS port number is 53. Now, so here do you see boom.com? I'm pointing to nasty URL. No, what is that called? We call it as a record. What does it call? Record. What is that? Record. So basically, DNS, this route 53 is all about route 50 contains records only. Mappings we do know. What is the teaching mapping? We call it as record. We call it as record. So what do we create in Route 53? Records. So Route 53 contains what? Records. Route 53 contain records. Now tell me, if someone hit boom.com, if someone hit, he opened the browser and he typed boom.com. Tell me which service will get hit first in AWS. Fantastic. Which one? Route 53. Sir. Because the mapping will be there in Route 53, no? So first it will come to route 53 and then it will go to the load balance. Because in route 53 mappings are there. Otherwise boom.com meaning where which load balance should go, it doesn't know, no. So who will take care of that? Route 53 will take care of it. Clear? Online is this clear now, route 53? Okay. <clears throat> so... And next important thing here is, we know this, we already discussed a little bit. What is this? Virtual private cloud. VPC. What do we say? VPC. Can we say VPC is like a virtual data center in the cloud? Yeah, no. Yes. So instead of having our own on-premises, we'll be using AWS. So remember, AWS is a public cloud. If you go inside the public cloud, you will also become public. Is it good to you? You is it good that you should become public? No, you should have your own private cloud, and that is physical or virtual? Virtual. That's why we call it as virtual private cloud. So every customer need to have their own virtual private clouds or not? Yes, every customer will have its own VPCs. How many VPCs you can create? Five VPCs you can create. VPC is regional or global? Regional. So in Mumbai, how many VPCs you can create? In Mumbai. Five VPCs you can create. Three are what? Availability zones. Three are availability zones. Getting it? And two VPCs can talk to each other by default? Answer is no. If required? Yes. Remember that example? Which example? Huh? Solar common example. Okay, <laughs> nice. <clears throat> so... So if we take this, do you remember that uh, hypnotism diagram? First you have AWS, inside that you have, okay. Tell me, the outer layer is AWS, inside the AWS, huh? region, inside the region, VPC, inside the VPC, available zones, and then instances okay so it, not only ec2 will be there inside it it can have anything inside it inside the vpc not only ec2 instance you can have databases and whatever everything should be inside your vpc only <clears throat> so if you take this as a region which region mumbai region you can take any region by the way so region City VPC is regional or global? VPC is regional. <clears throat> In one region, how many VPCs you can create? One. 
two, three, four, and five. Five VPCs. And these five VPCs can communicate with each other, each other by default? No, they don't communicate with each other. If required, yes. Okay. And uh, let's see, maybe in coming days, we'll be doing practicals. So definitely you need to launch an EC2 instance, 100%, right? When you're launching the EC2 instance, that EC2 instance should be inside the VPC or outside the VPC? Inside the VPC only, no? So that meaning, first we need to learn VPC. Otherwise, how do you create it, right? So don't worry, VPC, we don't, we'll not talk about the VPC first. Because AWS is providing you a default VPC. So AWS want to make his customers very simple and happy. So you don't need to bang your heads, scratch your heads. Are what is this VPC? What, how do I create VPC first? Because VPC people say it is a very difficult topic. For that reason, AWS want, AWS doesn't want to keep their customers in difficult position. For that reason, AWS has created its own default VPC. Every region contains a default VPC. So we will be using the default VPC until we are familiar with it. Later, we'll create our own VPCs. So do you all agree that AWS has a default VPC? Every region has default VPC or not? Yes. AWS has default VPC. AWS provide default VPC in each region. So VPC, it's a big topic, but I just touched it because it's just a trailer. Okay. Picture. I'll be back here. Those, right. So we still have a lot of things. Okay. <clears throat> now I'll tell you one real thing. This is your company, Nana. This is your company. And this is AWS. This is company, this company, and here we have on-premises. This on-premises, and what is this? This is AWS. And now, how are you connecting from your company to do AWS? Ah, okay. How are you connecting from company to AWS? Using? Using what? Internet. Using what? A very normal, common thing. So from company, you are connecting to the AWS using what? Internet. Hmm. See how I'll tell you. That internet is a dedicated internet or shared internet? Okay. You have, in your home, you have internet? Which one? Airtel, Act, Geo, huh? uh, something, something. Whatever the internet they are providing, that is a dedicated internet or shared internet. Huh? Now it is shared internet. When Whenever in coming into company, it will be dedicated for you. So company also have internet access, which will be provided by these providers only. So that is shared internet or dedicated? Uh, that is shared internet. Okay, good. See, your company, many employees are sitting inside the company here. Many employees are sitting inside the company. You also sitting inside the company. And you're connecting to the AWS using shared internet. That means whatever the data that you are you are sending from your company to AWS is public or private? It's public, no? Because that is a bloody shared internet. It is public. Is it good to be public? You should have a public network or private network. Say that loudly. Private network or not? Agree, everyone. Is it good to be public network or private network? Physical or virtual? Mix it. Virtual, private, network. Shortcut? VPN. What is it called? VPN. If you want to connect from your company to AWS, what do you need to have? VPN. What do you need to have? VPN. Because you cannot go with... Uh, you cannot go with the shared internet. In that shared internet itself, you have your own tunnel. Assume there is a big tunnel 
internet is flowing inside this if everyone we go everyone will come public which is not good everyone need to have their own private space or not private enter so inside the big tunnel you have another tunnel private for you but still you are using shared internet only but inside the shared internet you have the private network that is virtual private have you heard about vpn vpn so remember from company to aws how are you connecting using vpn using what vpn remember i'll be, i'll be asking this question many times later so if you have a company and if you have aws how they are connecting using vpn okay mm. so vpn is using uh, shared internet or not yes but few company few companies what they are saying is few companies are babu i want my data to be very secure and you are saying no problem customer we are using vpn and customer knows vpn is using shared internet in the back end it is good is it extremely good no because it is using shared internet in the back end so if the customer says that if the customer says i don't want the shared internet i want it to be very 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 secure to connect from your company to aws because in between data packets will go no so any hacker will come no there is possibility but what customer is saying like let's like company like government companies isro or you know nasa or bank banking companies all these companies is good to use their vpn so they need to have a dedicated connection no from company to aws for this aws is providing something called direct connect what is it na from company you will have a direct connection to aws so you can use this service what is the service name direct connect so this direct connect is like a lease line connection directly from aws to your company hmm. but it has what's aws network it will not go through the internet let's say you have manjira water the everyone has manjira water in your apartments so river is there okay you are asking how does the manjira water will come to you that th they will have a pipeline connection somewhere one hub will be there and from there the water is shared to all of us yes or no that is shared but what you are asking is you want to have a direct pipe from river to your home that is called direct connect you want to have a direct pipe from river to your home directly that is called direct connect and if you want to use from the hub somewhere that is called the shared wall and if you want to have direct connections then go for the direct connect okay so <clears throat> this is a lease line connection from aws which is dedicated for you which is dedicated and by the way you tell me that shared water is uh, costlier or a dedicated pipe is costlier and you tell me vpn is costlier or direct connect is costlier direct connect is costlier and you know 16000 dollars per month the price for direct connect is 16000 dollars per month sir please do practicals for this huh? is it possible to do practicals for this not possible right so but you understood if any customer come and say if you want to have a direct connection you don't want to use internet shared internet concept you need to have a direct then go and suggest for them it is a direct connect online chat is is this clear nana it's a service it's a service from aws containing networking inside it <clears throat> no okay guys so now i want to tell you one concept which is very 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 important offline people anyways you are in front of my eyes online people get ready steady sit properly hmm yes or no <clears throat> how this work for big consulting companies what is the concept of how simple if you and me are there he is talking about the direct connect 
direct connect how this will work for big consulting companies it is a consult company it's a software company it's a it company it's a aws company it's a the, whichever it is any company if you want to connect to aws securely and dedicatedly which service you need to use direct that's it simple as that there is no concept all how you tell me now you want it's up to you or not if you have more money can you get direct water from anjira river directly if you are a big uh, sound guy yes or no can you have a direct pipe from the river ah, in front of the middle road you can have if you put uh, the crores crores of rupees to the government right right otherwise there will be one well <laughs> from that well one motor will come and from motor 15000 pipes will go out and that from the one of the pipe you'll get the water and that from water you will have a shared tank in your uh, apartment and from there you will get it that is shared and that is how much you are paying very less rupees it's not a question about how it's it's question about why how do you want basically you want direct or shared it's up to you yes <clears throat> there is question is it it is expensive oh, of course of course it is expensive and and um, sharada is asking sir it is expensive does financial firms really use this secure for security purpose they don't they don't really ignore the security because they are getting that much money in order to use this direct connect see banking companies are there example nasa is there isro is there government projects are there government companies are there is it good that they use vpn they don't uh, um pay don't, don't they pay for this kind of service of course no there's a big big companies they will pay okay mm they need the security for security purpose they can do anything okay there is a question aws provide security for a data center whose data center divya oh sorry direct connect uh, aws provide okay so dc meaning oh shortcut la generally dc meaning data center we call okay so aws provides security for uh, direct connect 100% which is it is aws uh, aws service no aws take care of the security of this direct connect okay hmm samir already i have four eyes if you put this much small i cannot even see Huh? apart from secure connection is there any more advantage of direct so samir you are the only one who make me to concentrate more <laughs> i am coming in front of the monitor in the reading <laughs> like power. okay there is a question sir is there any other advantage of using direct connect one is 100% security second one is speed do we have speed or not are if you have direct pipe from manjira river no one is sharing it so your entire home will become swimming pool yes or no right obviously you will get the performance also there nice nana okay so let's go to the very important topic guys i want you to concentrate from now of course you are concentrating but after completing please don't say once more okay don't say that because i'll go very slowly this topic you need to understand the topic okay okay do you think that i'm playing no i'm not playing okay what are these uh, regions what are these regions very good this is mumbai and this is are mumbai ya to hyderabad ya rata niche rata and this is can goa mm, i'll send if you don't read properly sydney mm. okay examples regions huh listen carefully 
now what i did nana i launched one uh, ec2 instance in mumbai region where and i have put application inside it inside this ec2 i have put a application inside i have my application there hmm? so i have put a application here now whoever whoever is using from india they'll have a low latency or high latency very good you'll have a low latency you'll have a low latency hmm but whoever is accessing from all these places they have low latency or high latency high latency yeah tell me now how do you solve this problem in kental me hmm meanwhile i'll draw you think and tell me how do you solve this issue so the problem here is see i'm 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 saying it see in mumbai we have the application now in mumbai we have application and those my those uh, my customers are in india as my application is in mumbai for them it will have a speed good speed and there is a guy from tokyo ching chong hmm ching chong is trying to access boom.com this is boom.com this application spelling mistake ka huh? okay okay so if chin chong wants to access the application for him it will be slow or fast or speed it will be very slow no so he'll have a high latency or not so how do you resolve this no direct is from company to aws this is throughout the world no my customers are in tokyo my customers are in ireland my customers are in canada us everywhere are my customers but my application is sitting only in mumbai and those who are from mumbai those who are from mumbai or those who are from india they'll have a low latency but other people that do are accessing throughout the world they are complaining about the high latency how do you resolve this you are talking about cache database that is related to the back end i am talking about application front so riya sir is teaching online and throughout the people throughout the world people are connected throughout the world people are connected okay and uh, international people are complaining i want to see riya sir and they want to uh, they i want him to be in our country because of some latency issues or something so what i need to do i need to go there and teach no yes or no okay now here also your application is in mumbai region but tokyo all the other regions are complaining so what i need to i need to keep that application in every region i need to keep the application in the every i need to keep the same application in tokyo i need to keep the same application in ireland i need to keep the same application in all the regions but if i do so that includes the cost i don't have that much budget now i don't have budget to keep the application in all the regions i don't have budget to keep the application in all the regions you understand the problem statement now problem statement you understood problem i'm repeating again the problem statement here is my application is only in the mumbai region and all the other regions are trying to access and for them they have a high latency to resolve this what is the first solution to keep the application in each and every region near to them if ching chong is complaining keep the application in the tokyo if other other ireland you know some people are saying keep it the application there but if you keep the application i need to pay more money or not for there also ec2 instance load balance everything set up i need i need to pay for that but i don't have budget i want my application to be only in mumbai but i need to have good performance across the world for that AWS came up with a service called 
cloud front what's that cloud in front so now for uh, ching chong where is the cloud remote location no where is the remote location application mumbai so that cloud is so far for him but what is the what aws is doing is that cloud he is keeping in front of him that is called cloud front no one has teach like this because this is my own style so but i'll tell you the reason i'll tell you the logic what is this cloud front say that what is the service cloud front you understood the cloud aws is keeping in front of the customer how i'll tell so guys every region has something called edge locations what is that edge locations what is that what is this here edge locations i'll write it first edge location this edge locations edge location is completely managed by aws we don't need to do anything you know what this edge location will do that edge location will cache the data cache 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 it's better to use this word cache cache meaning this no hmm? so c a s h cache c a c h e uh, good no will you call cache that also no right you call it as cache ah uh, another word is catchy don't say catchy okay so <clears throat> you understand na cache what is doing cache what is the meaning of cache yes all frequently accessed data is placed in that place now what will happen is see here this edge locations are completely managed by aws what aws will do is nana in cloud front go to cloud front cloud front is a service no in okay in uh, ec2 service what do you launch ec2 instances in s3 what do you create buckets in rds what do you create uh, in rds what do you create databases correct in cloud front you create distribution what do you create what do you create in cloud front ah uh, online people please put in chat in cloud front what do you create distribution so what you need to do is go to cloud front and then click on create distribution nana where is your origin application mumbai can i call it as this as origin origin so in cloud front nana in cloud front when you are creating the distribution create this distribution when you are creating distribution in cloud front it lasts where is the origin it lasts where is our origin mumbai where is our origin mumbai and it lasts so many configurations and also it lasts it lasts like uh, babu where do i cache which edge locations i need to cache your data you cannot choose the edge location nana you need to choose based on the continent based on the continent it lasts you want to cache in usa or europa or asia na or etc or finally it's a all all which one you would suggest which one you suggest all if you select all what will happen and click on create distribution if you click on create distribution what will happen you know this cloud front will keep the data of the application in all edge locations see this will get all the data will be stored all data will be cached what i am using here word cache all the data is cached in the edge locations cloud front will cache the data here so cloud front will cache the data no cloud front will cache the data to the edge locations correct that meaning aws you tell me now 
AWS took the data from your Mumbai application and it is putting into the edge locations. It, it uses internet, no? Is it good to use the normal internet? No. He has, AWS has its own network. We call it as the entire content, whatever you have in the application that is getting delivered using this network. And we call it as content delivery network. What is that? Have you heard about CDN? Uh, so CDN, what is that? No, no? Content delivery network. So how does this AWS is transferring the data content? Uh, I mean, delivering the data using the which network? CDN. You can say CDN. So using CDN, your data is getting transferred. So as it is used by, as it is AWS network, it will be faster or not? Of course, it will be faster. For that reason, all the data that whatever you have in your Mumbai will get cached in all the edge locations. And now, Ching Chong is here. Okay? Now tell me, okay, here, here, user is here in Tokyo. Now tell me, will he connect to Okay, now what is the what is the what is the domain? Boom.com. That's a website. When you open the boom.com, will he direct will he connect like this, sir? Or will he connect to edge location? Excellent. So the user will connect to the edge location and then edge location will reply to him. Because the data is caged. What is it? Data is caged. In edge location, data is cached. Understood? So as every region has its own edge locations, right? So that users, whoever in that region will be connected to the nearest edge location. And these edge locations are managed by AWS. As it is managed by AWS, do you need to really worry about how the edge locations look like? Do you worry about how the Mumbai data center look like? Similarly, here also edge locations can be a server or a group of servers. We don't know, but it is getting cached over there. And you know how many edge locations are there? There are so many edge locations in India. We have how many regions are there in India? Two regions, no? So Mumbai and Hyderabad. But edge locations, you know, where are there? In Delhi, Bangalore, Hyderabad, right? Right. Uh, all big metropolitan cities, all big, big cities have the edge locations nearby. Okay, so now Mumbai is there. In India also, let's say we are in Hyderabad. Our, our application is in Mumbai. So, do we need to connect to Mumbai or do we need to connect to the edge locations in Hyderabad? Yes, even though you are in India, it is even more faster. You understood the concept? Understood? Or not? So, edge locations are completely managed by, there is a question, see, I already said, Sarath is asking, what is inside edge location? Do we need to worry about that? No, edge locations are managed by AWS. It's a server only. What is there inside edge location? It is like, like asking what is there in laptop? In laptop, what is there? It's a server, it's a machine, right? Where it caches the data there. Hmm? Understood, Nana? So now, see, now user is trying to access boom.com. User is trying to access boom.com. Now tell me, first the request will go where? Ah, oh, this concept, forget about this. Generally, in AWS, which service will get hit first? Route 53. Fantastic. Which one? Route 53. Whenever you hit boom.com, it will go to the Route 53. In Route 53, we need to have the mappings. Now, now whenever you create a CloudFront, CloudFront will also have a nasty URL. It will generate a nasty URL. So, from Route 53, it goes to the CloudFront, nasty URL. And from nasty URL, CloudFront, it will go to the Load balancer. Our EC2 here, application is on load balancer or not? Yes. Yes or no? This is with the CloudFront. Without CloudFront, how does it go? Tell me. Boom.com, it will go to Route 53 and it go to ELB directly. You understood now? With the without CloudFront? Edge location will... Edge location will also have name to recognize. No, why I told no, no. For so there is nothing. So I'll write it here. Edge locations are completely managed by 
ELs are edge locations, ELs mean huh? completely managed by AWS. So we no need to recognize there are no names, nothing for it. Okay. So what does the edge location will do, Nana? What does the edge location will do? Cache application caching. What does it do? Application cache. Okay. Mm, I'll tell. Sai Ram. So now, <clears throat> guys, let's say in your application, you have puppy.jpg. You have some image. What is that? What is the image that you have in application? Puppy is there. Puppy is there. Hmm? You have deployed. So this puppy.jpg will be in all edge locations or not? Yes or not? Puppy.jpg will be in all the edge locations. It is cached. Puppy.jpg is cached. Hmm. So, Nana, you have a concept called TTL. What is that? Time to live. What is that? Time to live. What is that? Time to live. Let's say, for example, I'm saying you have given the cache time as 12 hours. How much? Example, I'm saying you can go for one hour, two hours, three hours, 12 hours, 24 hours. You can go. No problem. Right? So now, let's say, for example, when you're setting up, what do we create in CloudFront? In CloudFront, what do we create? Distribution. What do we create? Distribution. So you are creating the distribution. While creating the distribution, you will say, hey, Babu, TTL meaning time to live. How much time the data should be cached in the edge location? Example, you said 12 hours. Now tell me, puppy.jpg will be there in edge location for how many hours? 12 hours. Now what you do is, immediately you have changed puppy to dog.jpg. You have changed puppy. Oh, puppy, dog, both are same, no? Uh, let's say hmm? cat, uh, cat.jpg. Now tell me in application in Mumbai, what you did? You have changed puppy.jpg to cat. Puppy to cat, you have changed. Now tell me, customer will see the cat uh, immediately. Customer will see the cat immediately, yes or no? No. When he will see? After the last. That is called TTL. So your cache is depend upon the TTL. So this edge locations, what do you do? These edge locations will come back to the origin every 12 hours. Not only, I'm saying example as 12 hours. It can be how much ever you want. Maximum 24 hours. Hmm? Now manage by user. Huh. But what is the purpose of minute? Caching generally we do in hours. Is it clear, Nana? Is it clear? So now, so... Um, edge locations cache the data based on the TTL. Based on the TTL. Okay. Now the question for you is, let's say for example, you can change the TTL. Uh, you, can, you can configure the TTL. Let's say for example, you have changed from puppy.jpg to cat.jpg. Change it. Customer will be seeing, will be able to see after Twelve hours, but customer said no. I cannot wait twelve hours. Immediately change it. Immediately change it. So for that, what you can do is AWS came up with another to another topic feature here. Call it as invalidate the cache. Invalidate cache. What is that? What we need to do? We need to invalidate. Invalidate meaning delete immediately. So what you need to do? Whichever the file or whichever the photo, whichever the whichever it is. In your application, if you want to change or if you want to get implemented immediately, what you need to do? You need to invalidate cache. So there is an option called invalid cache. Click on it. It will ask CloudFront does. Babu, which one you want me to invalidate? So say that puppy.jpg. So what it does it, it will it will connect to all edge locations. It will delete puppy.jpg and connect to the origin and get the latest data and put it there immediately. That is called invalidate cache. So the question for you here is, is it possible to delete the cache in edge location? Yes. Uh, yes, using 
invalidate cash but aws will charge for that you understand what is invalidate online is it clear so we need to configure edge locations using cloud front clear na online is this clear your origin can be load balancer your origin can be ec2 your origin can be beanstack your origin can be s3 your origin can be anything yes or no because application application will be running on ec2 or it can have a load balancer it can be s3 static bucket also static website also it can be a beanstack url also whichever it is origin can be anything so here origin can be can be what nana can be elb huh ec2 s3 website uh, beanstack right etc whichever it is clear is it clear now understood this topic delete the cache from edge location is invalidate cache correct i'll write that also deleting the cache in edge location is called invalidate cache so if you invalidate what will do edge location will get the latest data from the origin right if you invalid i'll write that also if you invalidate the cache edge location will get edge location will delete the cache and get the latest data from origin there is a question how often we delete the cache well, it's up to you no if something that you want to delete it and do it immediately it's up to you it's not about how often it is manual it is a manual thing if you feel that here the question here is puppy.jpg have changed to cat.dbg that is my requirement whenever you get the requirement and if you want to Im immediately do it invalidate it there's no something called how often it is manual up to you sharada is it clear now everyone does cdn support all kind of application or data and by the way yes this cloud front caches your static data also or your dynamic data also let's say for example you have a website no no first time it will load very slow second time it will be faster yes or no because the entire data is cached nearby to your edge location that can be your front end data or generally you you get the reports from the databases also all those reports will be saved into the edge locations nearby so this is certification question here cloud front cache static and dynamic data also that is a certification question so cloud funds cache only static data na dynamic data na or both ah both okay na so i told you know you need to carefully understand can you to concentrate on this for that reason i said now if pusuk someone says sir once more then it's gone but not required no is it clear na everyone any questions na online I'll stop it here today. Hmm? Reports, Saurav. And by the way, one humble request, guys, especially for online people. I see questions you are asking. It's good, not to, not to Saurav. It's for everyone. I see you are asking the questions online, but there should be some method to ask. or there should be some thing to it's good to ask right so whenever you are putting the question remember this for our entire course online people the let's say for example you get a message in capital letters what does it mean your friend is there your friend 
sent a message in capital letters what does it mean online people i mean experienced people can understand this you see angry and serious whenever they <clears throat> and putting in the capital letters you understand because we are not in front it is through the communication through the chat or to the messages or to the mails so this is helpful for your real time also so remember don't put in capital letters your questions number 1 number 2 okay now you are getting a message without any pro proper salutation or you get a email saying that hey how are you is that good or hi funny comma how are you is that good how are you is good so that is another thing and uh, that also represents very rude so my humble request for online people is whenever you are putting the question to me please put sir comma and then put the entire question in one line and then put question mark that is very important because sometimes they will write the sentence i don't know whether telling me or they are asking me so i need to read it and then i need to understand and then say it. so if you put that in a properly in proper syntax this will be really good right because i'm also a human being on other side correct right and also guru for you correct so everyone or they are online so because uh, um, experienced people those who are all working don't you don't you agree with me yes or no that is very important so as a freshers and many people here that is really a very good lesson for you hmm? there is question sir is it safe to assume the class starts every day at 9:15 am see um correct santosh thank you so generally you see right i'll be here exactly at 9 right i'll be here all the time so before this devops class is also happening for maybe sometimes he will little bit delayed for that reason i'm staying outside so maximum i want all of you to be at 95 online people sometimes i'll start with 95 also if it is free the room is free or 910 or if room is not available you need to wait for 915 but 915 is the max so i i would um, suggest you to be in the class by 95 sharp yes there will be little bit difference first thing will be comparatively little bit slow the second request will be faster ravi kumar okay ma so take it take the screenshot and notes i'm telling you again those who are regular to my classes from pains you will get everything you are taking the screenshots but parallelly i'll upload the pdfs also as i said no one will be interested to go through the ppts right but some people are putting in the messages in telegram sir notes notes so what do we do with the notes and you say sir we need to prepare from the notes what do you prepare prepare from my pains it's good not from the pdfs pdfs is just for it will be there i i'll share and but one more thing important i said to offline yesterday uh i'll i'll share i'll not be sharing all the notes in one shot as i said because who are there sugar patients <laughs> sugar patients that meaning what that, what that, what that meaning is what they do is if i share all the notes what they do is they will read everything before coming to the class and they'll go here there that tube did to be that demi this demi everything they'll come and sit here and whatever they i tell they listen they'll get confused everything racha racha right it's bad so for that reason uh for that reason i'll be sharing the notes whatever we have discussed and also one important thing guys when you are learning from me this next uh, the whole course 55 to 60 days the whole course please don't go through any youtube udemy or that demi anything just concentrate my classes but 
if i complete one subject then you go and check it no problem then definitely you will come back and say me sir what is there in sir we cannot understand in youtube and udemy and there you definitely will come back to me but whenever i complete the subject let's say for example ec2 is there once if i say that ec2 is done then go and check it anywhere wherever you want but before that don't go here and there try to read and come here so that you'll understand much better that is wrong assumption don't put your legs in two different boats what will happen <laughs> not good okay how many questions are there in aws 60 60 questions will be there in exam 60 60 all multiple choice questions mm. okay 70% but my students will get more than 80% every student okay so whatever the shootouts that we are having uh, whatever the shootouts i am doing it please concentrate more on that if you concentrate more on that certifications you can easily do it and don't worry at the end of the course i'll give you some certification questions scenario based you just practice those and you can easily do it okay nana so can i get a final cc for today please online cc with smile oh, one more ah huh? ah important one maintain the notes okay the notes will be really really helpful so when you are going for interviews when you are going for certification just go through that notes the notes and my paints both are same notes meaning the one which you are writing you are taking the screenshot no i said go home or in the class itself so just try to write whatever i am writing it so by seeing this picture you should be able to understand what is cloud front and everything so great nana so that is all for today let's continue tomorrow with the next topic until then take care bye bye have a nice